Welcome to the Automators Podcast with your host, Jackie Stook and Joe Glines. In today's podcast, we're going to talk through building a regular expression to help me work on my newsletter. Yeah. Hey, everyone. It's Joe Glines out of Dallas, Texas here. Yeah, and Jackie here from Copenhagen, Denmark. And, uh, and today, as I said, we're, we're working on our regular expression. I was actually asking Jackie for some help, and we thought, hey, why not? Let's make this into a, a podcast. And uh, so weekly, I do a newsletter. And what I do is I, I take uh, Microsoft Word, and I, I build the newsletter in Microsoft Word, inserting like even the hyperlinks and stuff in Word uh, to the videos and things like that. Uh, and then I use a, an online tool to convert it to HTML just because Word adds a crazy amount of uh, code to your HTML. So I don't want to use Word for that. And uh, anyway, in it, I wanted to make sure that it had a target equals blank in every A tag. That way, when people go to click on it, it doesn't, um, it, will, it won't navigate. Like if they're in some, like in, in certain email types, if uh, if you didn't have that, it would actually navigate away from my newsletter and take you to the link, which, you know, I, I want to keep that link of the newsletter open. So this is why it's important. Now, um, on some stuff, I have it where it's uh, I'm using you, uh, uh, an API to build HTML, and it adds this target equals blank underscore parameter attribute to the, the A tag. So sometimes they're there and sometimes they're not. And so what I was thinking is, be really cool. Let me go ahead and share my screen to um, to be able to do a regular expression where it would look across all of the A tags. So this is just some text, right? Now here, and of course these URLs don't don't work, but it doesn't matter, right? So here's your your a, href equals, and then here would be the target equals blank. And so um, it shouldn't add it to this one because we already have it, and yet. It should add it to this one and this one because there is no target equals blank in there. Yeah. And Jackie's better at regular expressions than I am, so he's he's going to drive. And I'll, um, I'll try to help, but I know this is where years ago he was helping me with a, a look ahead or a look behind. I forget which one we're doing. And I tried. I spent some time on it, and, and I just couldn't figure out how to get it to work right. And even I am a little rusty, but let's let's try and solve it. Yeah. So uh, let's see. Uh, can you give me control? Maybe. Oh, Joe? I forgot. Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah. Okay. So we have a pretty simple uh, expression up here at the top. We're using Red X 101, which we know fits with the scripting language we normally use quite well. So that's the reason we are using this one. And in this one, we have the A tag, of course, the other ones here, and we have the, the capturing group in the middle. And one of the things with Red X 101 is it actually shows you the groups. So Mm -hmm. Yeah, the blues, that's the A, and you have the greens, which is the actual capturing group. And here we can change whatever we have inside here. Yeah. And as soon as I remove stuff like um, the star, uh, the, the single and the star, not the single, the dot and the star, which just matches everything. Um, if I remove either one of those, the, the regex won't work. If I put in the question mark there, um, you can see it, it won't work either. So within reason, however, you want to build these. Um, the question mark, you can always re read over here, matches the previous token between zero and unlimited times, uh, as few times as possible expanding uh, as needed lazy and that's the actual question mark making it to that instead of when removing the question mark here let's try and do that um, you see so it, same match actually become greedy instead of lazy so it went to the second uh, greater than sign because yeah. yeah so if we just keep with this one um, <laughs> um, 
unsure if it actually acted on something I clicked. Um, I have a small delay to <laughs> control oh, points, yeah. security, but um, within reason, we'll manage. Um, this is the most simple one. What we then actually want to have happen uh, is, I don't know how complex your links are, Joe, in the actual document, mm -hmm. um, but uh, what you could do is here uh, on the DA, um, you could probably push it uh, like this. Um, now you actually have a much smaller um, target area. I've made it so that the first one up here matches from uh, this uh, crocodile or whatever that's called. Uh, the A, the dot star, and now the um, double quote. Double quote. So because it's a greedy match, it will always match the last double quote. Okay. That's why you're now seeing that the second line actually captures the target. So it, that's no longer uh, possible to actually match anything. If, if we were doing something, it's actually matching in between those two here, which isn't visible. So you couldn't actually show that. So within reason, that's not really helping mm -hmm. um, in this case because we actually want to check for the target. So if we instead change those things up here, those first three, there we can start thinking about uh, a matching group. We want it to not change anything if target is there. Mm -hmm. Correct? Yeah, and can I interrupt you just for one second here? Because what did occur to me, because I could have solved it this way, was hey go get what kind of like what's highlighted right now and just every time you'll get that and then you just use an in-string kind of logic of hey go get this and hey always take this and then just use some logic and a hockey to say hey if target if the word target is in here you know um, target equals is in here then don't do anything if it's not there then add it in there right i think i could easily do that with auto hockey code however it wasn't as sexy is that but does that sound right that like that would be one way to do this but it's it's not taking advantage of that look ahead of saying, hey, is, you know, or, or, and this is where I get confused. And the look, the look ahead is to the left, look behind us to the right. Am I, am I right on that? Uh, no. Look ahead no? is to the right and okay. look Sorry. behind is, is to left. Yeah. Okay. It's the reading. If, so, yeah, look ahead, that's in front, and look behind, that's before um, of the cursor. But what we want to do here is um, actually using look aheads and look behinds uh, is something that I haven't done for a long time. So my hope is that if we actually go in here and make another group, um, let's say we use this as the group, now the first one is the green, the green target group or whatever you call that. Um, and we use this here. Oh, it didn't actually give me the sign I wanted. So. Uh, Non-capturing group that the card's backtracking positions once matched. Uh, okay. That wasn't actually what I thought it would call it. Uh, and now it doesn't really work, right? If you're looking here, it's not capturing anything sure. anymore. Right. Um, What if we actually ask it to capture something specific like double quote and remove that double quote? Uh, 
Square. I'm unable to get it to do the other one. Maybe it's just my key. So the atomic group here is how I remember um, making these look aheads. issue with that. Why doesn't that work? I'm unable to make uh, one that's this way around. The key I usually use doesn't actually produce that character on your machine. Good. Sorry, I was trying to type it for you. <clears throat> you want another one there? Uh, put it here. Uh -huh. um, so it's not making an actual capturing group because it's seeing this one as uh, literal. We need to escape it. I thought I did, but it didn't. Is it the other way around? I don't think so. No. Okay, so maybe um, I can actually find something down here. Uh, look ahead. Okay, so it actually needs the equal sign. And not stack. So, first capturing group. That's probably right. Add to the cat around it, really. Did you still want that other greater than sign there, though? Yeah, I just need to put the things the right way around, it seems. Oh, what's... There's one of... <laughs> one of the keys that I'm pushing apparently There's activates hockey. the shortcut thing on the end. Like this. And that's a look behind. Positive look behind, assist the red X below matches. And if this then says uh, target, that's a look behind. And if we change it to a look ahead, what then? Doesn't still doesn't seem to be able to actually capture it. Why doesn't uh, uh, non capturing group that discards backtracking positions once matched matches the character literally? Do you need to account for the href equals in double quote? Do we need some wildcard characters in there? Or is it going to say anywhere to the right whether target is right next to it versus? That's what I did and when I was trying to do it. I'm like, I don't understand. How do I tell it to look on the other side of the the dot com double quote? Like, or do I need to? It'll look anywhere. <clears throat> it'll be anywhere to the right of that. So you're saying that this one maybe needs to be there? Well, that's what I wasn't sure about. Yeah, right. Still not capturing anything. <laughs> right. Because... Yeah. That's the one I can't make. Can you do the it the other way? 
the, the this way? No. That way. That way. Okay, that that doesn't even compute. Because if doing it that way may need to be on that side, try and try and make one there. With the, this way? Yeah. And it just becomes a normal capturing group. Equal um, look ahead, yes, no. If the look ahead succeeds, matches the pattern before the vertical bar, otherwise matches the pattern after the vertical bar. The look ahead can be negative also. Global flags breaks conditionally. So the look ahead succeeds, right? So from how I'm understanding that, is this a part of it? Oh, I don't understand why I keep getting that shortcut thing up. Maybe I'm clicking too quickly or something like that. Um, this was the closing one. Is that the closing one? Yeah. Well, at least you're matching something again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just glad it didn't take you 10 seconds because I, I would have been pretty embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's that's great. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm unsure if the question mark is a part of the look ahead conditions. Uh-huh because they have it in their example. Right. Might be wrong. And then, um, question mark equal target. Not sure why this is working, isn't working better. Hmm. Positive look ahead. Yeah. I'm getting that. So star. Dot, 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 like so. Just trying to build the exact same thing as in their example. Um, why isn't it typing? <laughs> um, those and target and and see the cursor. Okay. Can I actually copy the thing now? I was going to say, right? <clears throat> so is that's going to be target? And that doesn't really does it. That's just candy is delicious or disgusting. So that makes it 
captured delicious. So if this says, that says disgust, disgusting. Having a hard time of editing it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So now we actually hey. got somewhere. Yeah, you did. Um, so then you want it to be blank, I think. Maybe I'll try and remove that. So. So now it's matching the one that actually does have target in it. Right. Oh, I removed one too many. Like so. Now it's not matching. Why did it stop matching? Do you need a star asterisk after the target? before the closing of the A tag? Oh, maybe. Yeah, okay. Let's... And then we want to change that to a not that. <laughs> Yeah, so, and yeah. Uh, it's just an exclamation point. So, is <clears> that <throat> uh, just this one? Yeah, apparently it is. But it's still matching. Yeah, that's probably because the other ones here are too open. Um, Too greedy, you mean? Is that what you're? Yeah, too greedy. Yeah, that's probably the right term here. Um... <laughs> I think it's because I'm using um, two buttons, and if I don't keep um, the shift down long enough. Um, it's actually registering as a single keystroke. Oh. That's why that shortcut thing is. So if this was, let's say, the first capturing group, and we can actually see the difference here. Mm -hmm. um, So now we have a positive, um, but what is then, look ahead is, then is delicious uh, or discussion, dis disgusting. But why is the is delicious needed here? Why in their example, why is there a positive look ahead? Is it even needed in their example? I don't understand what you mean. When I look here and I see, oh, uh, I'm looking for an is. Okay, I'm positive there is an is. Uh, then is delicious is the target we're going for. But if there isn't an is, then we're going for disgusting. But if we just had is delicious or is discussion, yes, then it might hit both. I'm not sure exactly how that, that's supposed to help. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so when we want to build a Red X replace, uh, the next thing we want to capture 
uh, or want to do is what 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 is the next thing we actually want to have happen then? I was typing, but I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> no, <nothing>. <laughs> <clears throat> now I didn't actually hit the correct placement. That didn't help much. Nope. I'll remove the last parts here. And just saying blank because that word actually exists in there. So here it's found target. And the last thing it found was blank. Mm -hmm. Or what? Or no. What? So we good. have one that's saying not equals right. target. And then it's finding blank. Is that, isn't that kind of weird? Just reading here. So, negative look ahead, assist that the red X below does not match. Target matches the characters, equals target literally. So, the equal is not needed. So, look ahead that there is a target and it's finding target, so therefore blank can match. So what it's actually doing is second capturing group is target. Third is blank. Why do you have target twice? Yeah, why do I have target twice? But I do. Um, the, the reason was I wanted to do something here after the look ahead. Uh, as per the example, I was trying to match something that actually did exist. I'm trying to delete part of it, but it's not going through. So like that, this. trying to clean it up a little bit here to see if I can remove, oh, that was an activity button I tried to. So now we have the A and we have dot star. And that goes all the way to the last of the brackets. But it also does so on the one that actually so that needs to be lazy. Yeah, that just means that it doesn't go all the way to the last one. Mm. Which is better. Which is better, yeah. but... Uh, uh, like I said, I'm, <clears throat> I played with this a while and it, I just couldn't get it to, to work properly. The, this one actually does something, right? It, it actually gets, this is a negative look ahead from mm -hmm. how I understand it. So to me, it should mean that 
target shouldn't be right in front of it. Right. But what if you do like so? Then it still matches it, even though target actually is somewhere in here. So if we instead change this one, can you make uh, the opening bracket? That not the right sign doesn't seem to work this way. Does the open bracket need to be on the other side of the question mark? Here maybe. <clears throat> I'll close these, look ahead and see. Conditional look behind. Is candy delish or you? Still seem to have both. So if there is a white space after it. Okay, so after those, okay. I think that if it has Let's see. I can't make that open bracket. Can you make that? This one and this one. That one. And this one. Like so. And we'll remove that. We'll put in. Does that make sense? So we have a possible look behind, then it's looking for stuff after. And that's not what we're going for. We want to look for this way. That's an atomic group. Still not what we're going for. Positive will look ahead. The problem probably is with the look ahead and the look behind terms. It's, can you make one of those again? Open the bracket. Glad I went to college. I can I can do that for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry, Joe. I, I don't know which key to press to actually make oh, that. Oh, these are yeah. Um, I'm, 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 I'm like I said, it. I'm just glad it's being as problematic for you as it was for me of like, <clears throat> it's, it, it was far more confusing than I remembered when I looked at it years ago. <laughs> so we do like that. We do like, oh, that was one too many. Back. This one. Do you think there's any chance that like the double quotes and things are throwing it off? 
because we can temporarily get rid of those just to simplify it. The, the double quotes around the URL. Hopefully not. They they shouldn't actually be throwing it off per okay. se, but yeah, they 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 might. But it just might be easier to eliminate them for now, and then we can go back later and figure out how to add them. But why don't you go into the test string and just delete the double quotes around the URL? Just get rid of all of them. I think that would be easier for you to actually do. Sure. Yeah. At least this way we can eliminate it as a concern. And um, okay, that, you know what? Hold on, hold on. There. Okay, let's go for that. Even though it's not exactly what we need, it's simpler. Because <laughs> you know, every t sometimes double quotes can really screw up stuff. Yeah. I'm trying to move the cursor around here. So. Equal is look ahead. Positive look ahead. Null matches any position. And blank. Blank can no longer be matched. So now we are going for target. And it's still not really matching yet. So if we say, oh, not star. Not star. That's not enough. If we're matching here, dot star. There you go. So not, now we actually did get target, but if we then had, like this. In here we had, what would we have in there? Oh, that was one too early. You want to move that inside those parens? The thing is, we actually do want, not want to capture target, right? Right. So, and um, no. if we instead change that, can't see where the cursor is at when I do stuff. So this one is matching all of them. So this negative target isn't really working. Mm -hmm. Negative look ahead. Should it be a negative look behind instead, maybe? Well, that's that's also, like I said, I was getting confused of, I tried it both ways, because I, like you said, it's not a perspective, right? Of like, well, all right, which way am I trying to look? <clears throat> can, can we actually change that? This then becomes something different. That's that doesn't seem as if it's the look around can be negative. But it's not showing any examples of how to make it negative. Because this didn't really work. And this just makes it a negative look ahead, but how do I change it into a negative look behind? Positive, negative, oh, it, maybe it also had the other ones. Negative look behind, negative look ahead, look behind. So isn't, so that's like, can you make the open bracket there? Yep. Oh, what happened? I don't know. It didn't go. Where did you want it? Right there? Yeah. Yep. 
put anything in here. Still not put in the door. Come on. Please do what I'm trying to do here. It's just not doing it. Yeah, okay, okay. So. Mm -hmm. This one is when we have this one it captures the last thing right before. That's just this one dot here, mm -hmm. but it's still Cut. not taking target into consideration. Right. right. Um, <clears throat> well, and. Um, There, I, I, you have a uh, right in here. What is this question? Not the question mark. Star asterisk. Okay, never mind. I, I'm with it now. All right. Yeah, that starts the the look behind. Negative look behind. So if this was instead, let's say this equal sign, we actually did have the equal sign here. Does that change anything? Still doesn't actually capture it because this then needs to be. Can I, uh, let me ask a couple questions just because maybe it'll help us figure this out. Just to clarify for me, um, <clears throat> so when figuring out if we want a look ahead or look behind, we we are we're looking at hey target is the thing that we're trying to confirm is there right, and the question is where is the word target compared? We're looking for it here, and we think it's going to be to the right. Is that correct? Of of a dot star asterisk, but that shouldn't that when do we need to do we need to stop that? Is that going too far? Is that you know the a dot star asterisk? Doesn't that go? It, uh, it might be going too far. We can <clears throat> try and do something like uh, saying. Oh, hey, hey, hey! That's uh, at least you got the two lines that we wanted. Yeah. Yeah, you're absolutely right. We got. All right, we're done. Stop. No. <laughs> um, now we actually need something that will capture a uh, piece of the string we want. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to change it right now. I'm slowing down and dot like so. Okay. So it's still actually finding something on the second line now. So the thing it was finding was actually the equal sign. So when I had it like, I'm still having a hard time of actually changing the rack. Katie, you said undo. I think undo works on the website. Yeah. So if this now becomes dot like so, I can't do it like that. It's still not, it's just not typing what I'm typing. So I'm having a hard time of getting it to do what I'm trying to make it do. So I was, I was trying to see if that last part there would actually give us anything but apparently it has to go with star well, the, mark. <clears throat> I 
how about without the question mark? So there can be zero or any number of them. That's what the star actually tells us, right? So the star is important in this case. But it's not really allowing us to capture anything. That. Mm -hmm. Well, wouldn't wouldn't we want to be capturing over by the the beginning the a dot asterisk question mark on the far left? That's the start. That's before you actually get to the the target, right? You're thinking about well, this part, I, right there. Yeah, I thought I thought if we did that star dot asterisk, uh, wouldn't that give us the href or no? Yeah, it it, it will seems so for now it's grabbing the target also so now we're getting past the the h ref and then we have the s here i'm, I'm making that into it just to see yeah sure um The target now is now being actually found as a capturing right. group. How does that work? Can we actually see which part? It's still capturing the wrong line. This right. this one right as <clears throat> before. Um, and that came with it did when you added that the plus sign was that the thing that did it no when you added the pattern the the parens there i thought that's when it started capturing that okay so moving that oh i guess it was already included Was it then the last part here? There you go. The last part is, was simply to open. Mm, okay. So. So now can we go back and add the parens at the beginning? If we add the parens around the star asterisk after the A right now, will that <clears throat> get the rest of the A tag or, or no? I don't think so. It's, I think what it is doing is it's finding an amount of these not. Um, Let's, uh, I'll, I'll try and scroll down here and see what else to pour. Come on. Capturing group two, star matches the previous token between zero and unlimited times, as many times as possible. Giving back as needed. Uh, repeated capture group will only capture the last iteration. Put a capturing group around the repeated group to capture all iterations. Okay, so uh, I think it's saying, look. Still not. I'm, I, I, I'm trying to make changes and yeah. they don't seem to 
go through the way it wants to. I'm unsure what this green one at the end here is. It's it seems to be match one group one. So is that this space? I, I don't at all understand how when you added that space, suddenly it started to work, at least started getting close. That, that made no sense to me. <clears throat> the space stopped the, the open uh, group here from, from going to the end, to the last space, because there's a space here in the front and a space after. So because of this space, this target now actually works here it actually does find something about this. So if we remove the space, then we'll get all of them. It is, so, so the space is making this capturing part here. Um, but stop. shouldn't it find that anyway? Like that's why I don't, I, that seems weird to me. Yeah, but it, it's making that dot notation actually stop matching. And that allows the target, the, the negative look ahead here to actually work. So that Got can't it. be there. So because the space actually stops that dot plus or dot uh, star here, asterisk. I'm trying to change the code while I'm saying it. Because of this space here, that actually um, fits in with this negative look ahead. So it's this space here yeah. and target that's now making this line not match. Okay. So, or else this part here would just go on to the end. Okay. Because it then matches everything before it even uses target for anything. Oh, thank you. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Even though in my head, we're seeing the word target. It should stop there. But I get what you're saying. The star asterisk says, hey, everything. Um, and then yeah. it goes to check for target, but you're already passed. Yeah, I get you. That's the tricky one to be aware of, though. Yeah, we could probably build the Red X even more specific and how many spaces and stuff like that. But as we actually don't know uh, right. what your HTML tags uh, hold, this should be the, the one that has the hardest chance of actually working. If we made another line just to see if, if it now actually does work well, uh, I'll put in another attribute, even though it's a known one here. It's, it's still not capturing it. Um, and if we make, oh, this one really looks bad, right? But it's still a correctly formatted HTML, um, although it has two hrefs. Uh, if we make one more here as well, and we just make it target, no HTML. So, as soon as there's a space in front of target, yeah. then it doesn't actually match it. Right. Now the next part is to then Be make to whatever red X. Uh, because what you actually wish to do is you actually do wish to insert it into a line. Right. Where it's this part here is, is like that, because you're, you actually may need these. Um, double quotes here. Just putting them in. Sure, yeah, yeah. Now that we know it's not, wasn't the issue. And we could actually say so many. 
Now it's only matching the first one because there's only a single space. Any number of spaces are now allowed. Okay, so this space part here. So as you can see on the first one, we are now actually matching the space we want. Okay. The one right after. Yeah, right. Um, but on the last one, we're matching the last space, which probably don't exist in your um, right slide. So if we have, let's say we make another one here just to try it and like this with multiple attributes and where um, this part isn't there. So uh -huh. that uh -huh. one actually isn't matching now. Right, yeah. <clears throat> and why isn't it matching? Because that doesn't actually have the word. Oh, so now the the this one actually became important for it to capture the space after one of those, because that's where we are at, right? If we remove this one, then it still works, which is kind of interesting. Still works. Still works. So now we're narrowed it down to as long as target, the word target is there, it won't take it, but it won't capture it mm -hmm. um, so it's capturing a space after uh, um, uh, what's those quote quotation mark double quote yeah double quote yeah a space after double quote or oh, multiple spaces I'm not sure if that one is needed come on okay so with the plus sign, it matches on both multiple spaces and uh, single spaces, whereas star, trying to put in a star here. Oh, that was on the wrong side, but that might also be okay. I'm trying to put it outside of the spaces, come on. I'll put it in there. Oh. <laughs> I'll remove one and let's see. Go ahead. If, okay, I'm going to. Oh. <laughs> I'll put it back. There we go. Yeah. All right, we're good. Okay. <clears throat> so depending on which one we like the most, I actually think I liked um, this one a little bit better. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you. Sure, because in, in reality, there's no reason to have all those extra spaces. So um, no. I might as well capture that and get rid of them. Yeah, should how about a plus? Plus should do the same thing. Then the space just has to be there. If it's a star, well, space actually doesn't need to be there. Right, so but that actually, because it, it, it doesn't have to be there, correct? So yeah, it doesn't have to be there, no. Yeah, so we want yeah, to yeah let's uh, let's test that. We'll make another line here, and we'll remove the actual space here. Okay, that doesn't actually work with the plus. How but on, on the other side of the, um, if the plus was on the outside. 
sorry no no as long as it's a plus it probably won't work okay come on let me change oh because it's a, a plus is a, a one or more right yeah yeah exactly sorry i forgot yeah so there we have it now you can actually <clears throat> change whatever is in the yeah and if we now change this target blank yeah, how it actually captures that one that's not good no so is it because the double quote the, the yeah, it's because it's, of the it's, double quote yeah and the double quote needs but you to know what we're gonna have them to we're gonna have them on the the href as well so you might want to change those back Oh, that's why, because that one that you added doesn't, we didn't add the double quotes to the URL. See right oh. here. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm seeing that. Okay. Oh, crap. <laughs> I thought it was not matching it because uh, we didn't have them on the first one, but. No, now we actually have a double quote after target, which is an issue. Uh, so do we need a question mark after the double quote to tell it to not be greedy on and get the first one? No, that didn't seem to to help. Yep. I did try and put one in. Not used to keeping the modifier key down for that long. Where is it at? So now it's capturing almost all of them. If the double quote is uh, not greedy. Would it help if we put after target in our negative look ahead, if we put equals blank in there? So here, because this, even I'm having a hard time. It's worth, worth a try. Equals. Yeah, that seems to do the trick. Is that I can pretty much guarantee if it is there, it's going to be because I've added it and I'm controlling that format. So <clears throat> that should be fine. Is there, should we change these last ones here to truly be? Um, you might want to, that says black instead of blank. Oh, black. So it's just because. Just because I added blank into it, you know, it, it yeah. Yeah, uh, fair enough. Okay. Um, is there any of the other ones that ain't formatted correctly? This one. Is it case sensitive? I don't think uh, it's, it's uh, I don't think either, uh, I don't think it's on at least. Is it an I for the uh, turn it off? I do think it becomes case sensitive if you actually put it okay. in your eye. Okay. Ah. Are there any others that ain't actually right? I know that these here are weird types of. Sure attribute to have two times, but it's just a type of test. I do actually think that it's matching this one wrong. Isn't it, Matt? It shouldn't be able to match shouldn't that be because matched, it actually right. is case sensitive. Fair enough. Yeah, was case sensitive as you said, Joe. Yep. It hadn't been turned off. 
But as you're the one adding it, that's probably fine. That's right. Yeah, it, it'll. I, I'm controlling that, so I don't have to worry about that. I do think we we hit it quite well oh. there. Awesome. Um, so yeah. the the you know, couple things to walk away from this one is, hey, it's not easy, right? Even and and I know neither of us have done like because for me also it have been boy I, I, months and months since I've worked on our regex. Uh, and but besides a look ahead or a look behind stuff, I haven't even touched that in years. And when I did, it was just playing with it. Uh, but the, those are obviously much more complicated. The uh, the that star asterisk in the space and understanding that, like that, it was it was getting past what we were looking for, and then we're saying, "Hey, look for blank," but it's already past it. That's a really good tip to to realize. Don't be too greedy in that beginning part, right? Because um, that's uh, tricky, but yeah, thanks for working through that. That's uh, it, 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 yeah, it was more complicated than I anticipated, but um, like I said, at the same time, I did spend like a good hour on it myself and was just beating my head against a wall. <laughs> but the thing is, one of these with the look ahead and look behind and negatives and positives and stuff like that, you, you need to have done it right here now to actually have it fresh in your mind and even i was rattled by this one but we did manage to get it so awesome. that's what a lot of us normally do so yeah yeah and um we actually correct me if i'm wrong jackie i think we have a webinar on regular expressions is that right yeah. i'm pretty sure yeah. that and then i have like uh, several dozen trainings on regular expressions you know very simple basic steps through the, the basics but yeah, but something like this is also a complex way of doing it. You could just as easily have had um, a way of iterating over the lines and having right. the regex match before your regex replace, or you could have all kinds of different ways of, of achieving this goal. But in this case, we wanted it to be with a, a positive or negative look ahead. So, Yeah, that was where, like I said, it, it actually... Hedonomy, because um, Jean and Lon is built, he's building, I should say, this tool. It's a clipboard manipulator program. So it's not one for like the Windows history, you know, clipboard history. It's so you can automate um, manipulating your clipboard. And in it, I said, hey, you know, actually, I think I could use that tool because you could say, hey, you know, go search for this. And every time you find the, the A opening A open tag, you know, add the target equals underscore blank into it um, and just loop, you know, go through the entire script. And anytime you find it, just add that to it. And sometimes I would end up with the double target equals blank, but that probably would be perfectly fine. It shouldn't break anything. And uh, and I would be done in a in a second. But um, I, I was like, that's that's definitely one approach. Um, and then I thought, you know, I didn't think it was going to be as hard as it was. Uh, but once I realized I had to say, look for this word and when you find it don't use it you know like that was where i was like oh wait a minute this finding something and saying if it's there don't you know that actually disqualifies it like that really it took me a bit to start thinking through like how am i going to do this so um thank you for for working through that for me that was absolutely awesome. awesome all right and uh let us know what you guys think yeah absolutely about you right Hey, so sorry that podcast was longer than we expected, but uh, I did want to follow up and show you the script that I brought it back into AutoHotKey, because there are a couple minor tweaks you have to do to it, uh, and there's several approaches, but what I did here was uh, double quotes. So these double quotes, I have to put in double double quotes. So basically, that's the big thing, right, was I put them in through there, and uh, here's, I, I adapted it to look at the clipboard. So here I'm setting the clipboard. Uh, in line three, so this is going to shove this into the clipboard. It's going to do its regular expression on the clipboard and then shove it right back into the clipboard, which we're going to display down here. So when I run this, you'll see here it's added the target equals blank to the ones that didn't have it, right? So uh, this middle one is the only one that had it. Uh, and if we you know, du duplicate that one and that one uh, and, and rerun, You'll see it, you know, it still keeps it consistent. So it's working the way we hoped it would. You can get this at the, uh, the automator.com slash a target slash target. So you can see right beneath me here in this URL. And, uh, hopefully that, uh, you know, it was a, it was a long process, but it's, you know, it's how regex goes. Sometimes it's a, a you can beat your head against the wall trying to understand what's going on 
and just testing things. So cheers.